All right, friends, it's Miss Club here, and today we're going to be continuing on in our interactive notebook. So for today's lesson, you're going to need this page and this page. We'll go ahead and start in our table of contents, and on page 16, we're going to write our first title, Adding and Subtracting Fractions. So I'll go ahead and do that on page 16. So adding and subtracting fractions. All right, and then on page 17 will be our add and subtract unlike denominators. So add and subtract unlike denominators. All right, so go ahead and flip in your math notebook to page 16, which is right here. So you should have a 16 up in the corner and you are going to cut out this page. So go ahead and pause your video, cut out this whole page along the border and go ahead and glue it down in your notebook. Alright, so now that you have that glued in on page 16, we're going to go ahead and talk about the information on our page. So it starts with, I can add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. That is our lesson objective, so by the end of this lesson, you should be able to say that statement with confidence. So let's look at our steps for adding and subtracting fractions. Step number one is we're going to look at do the fractions have like or unlike denominators. A reminder, our denominator is our number on the bottom half of our fraction. If they are like, both denominators will be the same number. So this would be a 3 and a 3. If they're unlike, as we can see in our two examples here, both denominators are different numbers. Okay, so once we determine if they're like or unlike, we'll move to step two. If the fractions have unlike denominators, find a common denominator. Now a common denominator is one denominator that you'll give both fractions that both of our numbers will go into. Three goes into 12 four times, and four goes into 12 three times. Step three, we'll find the sum or difference. So here we're just adding eight twelfths plus 9 twelfths, 8 plus 9 is 17. So we get our sum of 17 twelfths. Step 4, find simplest form or convert to a mixed number. When we break apart 17 twelfths, we know that 12 twelfths is one whole. So that's where we get our 1. Once you take away 12 twelfths from 17 twelfths, there are 5 twelfths left over. So 17 twelfths becomes 1 and 5 twelfths. All right, now we've walked through the steps. Let's look at a second example. We have 3 sixths minus 1 fourth. Again, we want to find our common denominator, which is a number that both of these denominators goes into. 6 will go into 12 two times. So we'll multiply our numerator by 2. So 3 sixths becomes 6 twelfths. 4 goes into 12 three times. So we'll multiply our numerator of a 1 by 3 and get 3 twelfths. So now instead of 3 sixths minus 1 fourth, our problem becomes 6 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. Now again with fractions, we're just changing, we're not changing the value, okay? We're just changing how it looks, okay? So then we will find the sum or difference. 6 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. 6 minus 3, we get 3 twelfths. Find the simplest form. 3 twelfths can be reduced into 1 fourth. Okay, kind of the opposite of what we did up here. When we go to reduce, 4 goes into 12 three times, and 1 goes into 3 three times. So we're able to divide both of these numbers by 3 to get our simplest form of 1 fourth. 
All right, so now that we talked about page 16, we're going to move over to page 17. We already wrote that page in our table of contents, so go ahead and cut out this whole page along our border and go ahead and glue it down on page 17. All right, guys, so now that you have this page fully glued on to page 17, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, if what I said in the last page was a little confusing, that's totally okay, because we're going to break it down a little bit more right here. So step number one, you're going to write the problem and circle the unlike denominators. So here, when we have 2 thirds plus 1 fourth, we're going to circle our 3 and our 4. Step number two is to write the multiples of the denominators and find the LCD. Now, LCD is least common denominator. To find our LCD, you're going to list the multiples. Now, the multiples are just the multiplications of this number. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So if you were to count by 3's or count by 4's, those are what your multiples are. So if we were to count by 3's, we'd go 3, 6, 9, 12, and you could continue on 15, 18, all the way up, okay? With 4's, if we were to count by 4's, we'd say 4, 8, 12. Now when both numbers, both of your denominator multiples, both of those reach the same number, that's how you know you found your least common denominator because both 3 and 4 have a 12 in common. All right, step 3, find the equivalent fractions. Now to do this, we will count how many multiples we needed to, find, to reach our LCD, our least common denominator. So with 3's, we needed 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll multiply our original fraction of 2 thirds by 4 over 4. With fractions, because remember we want to keep the same value, so whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. And that's a concept that you will continue on into Algebra 2. So we'll multiply our numerator and our denominator by 4, because that's how many multiples it took to reach our LCD. So when we multiply, you just go straight across. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 equals 12. So our new fraction is 8 twelfths. Now with our 4, we'll count how many multiples. 1, 2, 3. And we see that it took us 3 multiples to reach our LCD with 4. So again, whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do the top. So we'll multiply 1 fourth times 3 over 3. 1 times 3 equals 3, 4 times 3 equals 12. So now our fractions have the same value, they just have a different look that will make it easier to add. So we will add our new fractions. 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths will give us 11 twelfths. We'll just add 8 plus 3 and we will get our answer of 11 twelfths. All right, so now we want to do some practice problems. So flip back to your table of contents, and on page 18, we are going to write practice adding slash subtracting unlike denominators. Okay, so page 18, practice adding, subtracting, unlike denominators. So then we will turn back to page 18. Don't forget to number these in your corner. So this is page 18. And we'll go ahead and do some practice problems. All right, so to title our page again, practice adding, subtracting, unlike denominators. 
and I ran out of room, so I'm going to squeeze that down on the next line. And hopefully you guys left enough room where you could double line. Either way. All right. So now that we have our title, let's go ahead and do a practice problem. So for number one, and I'll just put number one off to the left so that I know that these are numbers of the questions, not part of our fraction. We are going to add two thirds plus five six. And we're going to want to know what that equals. What is that sum? So our first step is to circle both unlike denominators. So we will circle our three and our six. Our next step is to list out our multiples to find our LCD. So remember, another way of thinking about multiples is just to count by that number. So if we were to count by threes, we'd say three, six, nine, twelve, and you could go on and on. Let's start with our six. Six, twelve, oh wait a second, I see two sixes. When you see the same number in both of your multiple lists, that means you've reached your least common denominator, your LCD. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert both fractions so that they now have a like denominator. So let's start with two thirds. How many multiples did it take us to get our LCD? It got us one, two. So we'll multiply our two-thirds by two over two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you need to do, the, do to the top. When we multiply across, two times two is four. Three times two is six. So our new fraction is four over six. Now with our five-sixths, how many multiples did it take us to reach a six? only one, right? So we can multiply by one over one, or we know that when any time you, any time you multiply by one, you get the same answer. So now our new addition problem is four six plus five six. Five or four plus five equals nine over 6. Now we want to simplify. When we break apart our 9 6, we know that 6 6 is one whole. When we take out 6 of our 9, we would have how many left over? 3. 3 6 is the same as 1 half. So another way of saying 9 6 would be one and one half. And that would be our final answer. All right, so let's move on to a second problem. For this one, we are going to do subtraction. So let's subtract four fifths minus one third. Four fifths minus one third. Our first step is to circle our unlike denominators, which are five and three in this case. Our next step is we're going to list our multiples to find our LCD, our least common denominator. So when we list our multiple to five, remember that's just another way of saying count by fives. So five. 10, 15, 20, 25, dot, dot, dot. With our threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Oh, I think I see two in common. Again, when they both have the same, you know you've reached your LCD. All right, so now let's go ahead and multiply. So with our four fifths, we are going to multiply 
let's see how many multiples it took. It took one, two, three multiples. So we'll multiply three over three. Four times three is 12. Five times three is 15. Now let's look at our one third. It took us one, two, three, four, five multiples. So we'll multiply by five over five. Whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. And as you can probably tell with our multiples list, this is where knowing your multiplication facts comes in handy. Because right now with our smaller numbers, it may not be that hard, but when you get to your eights or your sevens, those multiplication facts will come really in handy. But let's go back to one third times five over five. One times five is five. Three times five is 15. And as you can see, both of our new fractions have the same denominator. They have like denominators. So now let's subtract 12 fifths minus, or 12 fifteenths, sorry, minus 5 fifteenths. When we go to subtract, 12 minus 5 equals 7. We cannot reduce, so 7 fifteenths is our answer. Okay, continuing on to number three, we're going to do one half plus two thirds. Now, I want you guys to try and solve this one on your own. So pause the video and solve it and then come back and we're gonna solve this one together to check your work. All right, but solve it on your own first. So go ahead and pause and then come back. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's see if you found the correct answer. So step one, circle our unlike denominators. We have a two and a three. Our next step is to list our multiples or to count by that number. So two, four, six, eight, ten, dot, dot, dot. Sometimes you may not do enough when you start counting out your second number and you may have to add more, but I think that will be enough for right now. When we go to do our multiples of three, we'll do three, six, nine, twelve, dot, 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 dot. Now hopefully you caught that there is a six in both. So when we go to find our new fractions, we have one half times, it took us one, two, three multiples. So times three over three. One times three equals three. Two times three equals six. Now with our two thirds, one, two. So we will multiply two thirds by two over two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. So our new addition problem, based off our new fractions, three six plus four six. Three plus four is seven six. Now a seven six, I know six six equals one. So I will take out my one. When I take out six six, I have one six left. So my answer is one and one six. Did you get the right answer? All right guys, this is gonna be our last problem for this video. And I'm gonna try and squeeze it down here on the bottom. So we are gonna do three fifths minus one half. We're going to figure out what that equals. Step one is to circle our two unlike denominators and I want to see if you guys can solve our subtraction problem. So pause the video and come back to check your work. Welcome back. 
So as I said, we circled 5 and 2 as our unlike denominators. So to find our LCD, our least common denominator, we'll list out our multiples. 5, 10, 15, 20, dot, 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 for our 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and I see the same number. So I'm going to box it and know that that is my LCD, my least common denominator. All right, next step is to convert my fractions. So I have three fifths, and I'm going to multiply that by one, two. It took us two multiples, so we'll multiply that by two over two. Three times two is six, five times two is ten. With our one half, it took us one, two, three, four, five. So I will multiply by five over five. One times five is five. Two times five is ten. So my new problem becomes six over ten minus five over ten. Six tenths minus five tenths. 6 minus 5 is 1, so my final answer is 1 tenth. How did you do? Now I'm going to draw a line in between these problems just so I can differentiate for myself that those are separate problems. You can do that as well, or if you are good, then that is optional. But there we go. Those were some practice problems on adding and subtracting unlike denominators.